NBC3 Sports brought to you by Syracuse Crunch, celebrating their 25th season. Well, Syracuse suffers a heartbreaking loss in front of the largest crowd to ever take in a college basketball game. Good evening, I'm Matt Hosworth. It was a week that began with so much excitement and quickly turned to raw emotion. A member of our beloved community is no longer with us. And with that, on the minds of all Central New Yorkers, Jim Beheim returned with a heavy heart and a thirst to bring us all the sheer enjoyment of another Syracuse win. With that said, here comes Jim Beheim out of the tunnel and onto the floor, meeting his dear friend at midcourt. Head coach, Duke head coach, Mike Krzyzewski, in front of a breathtaking crowd, a record crowd of 35,642. The university honoring the victim in Wednesday night's fatal accident, Jorge Jimenez, with a moment of silence prior to the game. Julie Beheim also in attendance, very emotional, as you just saw there. Syracuse hoping for two wins against the top-ranked team in the country in the same season, and it looked pretty good early. Frank Howard got going, which is always a good sign, just like the last time down in Durham, but R.J. Barrett was on another level tonight. The nation's top recruit in 2018, and he played like it, dropping 17 in the first half alone. Uh, look out for Merrick Dolezal. Heads up pass from Howard, and he does the rest. And how about one more time? This time, Dolezal does it all by himself. Takes his man off the dribble, hammers it down. Look at athletic director John Wildhack loving it, along with Orange legend Jer Derek Coleman. He was also in the house. Syracuse took a five-point lead at the half. Things also looked good in the second half. Dolajai pretty pass, beating Elijah Hughes, who rocks the rim. And that is when they announced the official attendance. Just a spectacular sight. Not an open seat in the house, but that's when Duke begins to chip away. Check out Barrett fooling O'Shea Brissett on the pass fake, proceeding to knock down another three. Syracuse only made one three-pointer in the entire second half. Howard's pass goes to no one. Alex O'Connell finishes at the other end. The Orange were in this game for most of the way, but lost control in the final 10 minutes. Here's the finishing touches. Trey Jones up top for Barrett, who throws it down. That's why he was the top-ranked recruit out of high school last year. It's the final dagger, and Syracuse falls short in front of the biggest crowd of the year by far, courtesy of Barrett's and the Blue Devils. The final from the Carrier Dome tonight. Duke wins it 75-65. Barrett puts up 30. Just a monster all over the court tonight. Tyus Battle leads the Cuse with 16 points, but really disappeared in that second half, resulting in a loss to the nation's number one team. Sports director Nico Tamurian joins us live from the Carrier Dome with more on the raw emotion that was on full display prior to this game and especially afterward, Nico. Well, Matt, this Syracuse Orange team played its heart out and they always give it their all, make no mistake, but to rally behind their heartbroken coach, meaning so much more. And obviously they want to win every game. They were not successful, as you told us, in that venture tonight. But obviously, going forward, this game, game meaning so much more for this team. It's a game the Syracuse Orange says slipped away, but the memory of which will never slip away. The record-breaking crowd and that ovation for a coach was something that nobody under this carrier dome bubble will ever forget. And this Orange team knows it had to and will continue to band together. My decision to coach this game all I can say is I felt the responsibility and obligation to my players, the members of my basketball team. I recruited these young men to come play at Syracuse University. They needed me to try to do my job tonight. You know, just like you said, you know, we, we're, we're doing it together. No matter what happens, uh, we got to stick together. Uh, the minute we separate is the minute we start losing. The minute we start you know, losing our focus and everything else we have on the court that's going well for us. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're basketball players, and we got to focus on that. But... Um, you know, we really got, just got to be there for everybody, especially Buddy, you know, right now, just helping them out the best we can. Indeed they do, and certainly this Orange team showing the true meaning of family in the wake of unimaginable tragedy coming together. Even if, obviously, the outcome isn't what they want, they will continue to come together, obviously, for the rest of the season, beginning again Tuesday night when they're on the road at North Carolina. But right now, live at the Carrier Dome. I'm Nico Tamaria. Yes, Nico, tonight serving as that defining moment, not only for this university and the Bayheim family, but also this entire community. Thank you so much for your coverage of this. A closer look at this game by the numbers. The Orange went ice cold from the field in the second half, especially 
especially from three. Duke taking each of those percentage categories by a solid 10 points. Mm. So, uh, man, Syracuse looked good in this game for a while. Uh, Duke just pulled away at the end. I think Duke obviously had a little bit of revenge on their mind after Syracuse beat mm -hmm. them down in Durham. Uh, but, you know, I, I still think Syracuse looks good for the NCAA tournament. 